Brown reporting for California Earth Minerals, your source for Ion Min, the completely natural calcium montmorillonite clay since 1946. Many are calling this wonderful product California's natural solution for cleaning up oil spills in the oceans of the world. Thank you all for coming to our second conference. According to those at the Deepwater Horizon site, the oil spill has been stopped, for now. With the oil leak capped, we can now focus on the massive oil spills that are savagely destroying our sea creatures, birds, beaches, and marshlands. The question is, how do we stop millions of gallons of crude oil that have been cast into the ocean? This oil will inevitably reach our shores, and when it does, it will devastate anything it comes into contact with. In our past conference, we explained how our product could be used to remove the floating oil spills. If we can cover the affected areas in the Gulf with our natural clay, Ion Min, it will cause the oil to sink harmlessly to the bottom of the ocean. Pictured here is our initial experiment, which can be found on CaliforniaEarthMinerals.com. Follow the link to the full presentation. You can see how the clay is forcing the oil to the bottom of the sea. Once on the bottom, it will be broken down by natural microscopic organisms and will actually improve life around it. Other cleanup methods are simply not as effective as ours because we can work on site of the spill and not have to wait until the deadly oil reaches our shores. Without Ion Men, we will continue to use methods that requires the oil to reach the shore, only giving it more opportunity to negatively affect our environment. The spill is so huge, it is doubtful that the combination of skimmers, scrapers, and other removal processes could act quickly enough. Ion Min is the answer. We have spent many research hours determining that a process of mining the clay and distributing it to the Gulf is completely plausible. Ion Min is a natural material that is available and accessible. One of the aims of this conference is to show how the extraction process would work and how a finely ground material could be made available for shipment in a very short time. Let's consider how the mining process can take place. The mine is in a remote location and since the entire process is done above ground, equipment can be transported there easily. To access this valuable mineral, we need machinery such as the IROC model RDS-25 or the universal model 130-150 horizontal shaft impact crusher, or even the Aztec model S3 track mounted screening plant with a 10 cubic yard feed hopper and the Rock Systems portable crushing plant complete with a horizontal shaft impact crusher. Using this Spalding equipment company, the mining effort becomes transportable and lets us set up a full scale mining operation in just a few short days. The entire operation is easy to ramp up. It only requires three to four crushers along with mills and loaders to get started. Small and medium sized trucks would also be utilized for the transportation of fuel, workers, food, and water. The actual process of transforming the tons of clay into meshed particles is a complex one. We are able to mine, crush, and mill ion men on site though. The clay starts out as basketball sized rocks and the final output is a finely meshed material, slightly smaller than a fine beach sand in size. They are then dropped from the conveyor belt to form a large pile where the loaders scoop it up and load the dump trucks. A specially designed center truck is used for the easy offload to rail cars. We are then able to immediately disperse it for aiding the Gulf. We will now open the floor to any questions. Cat, what impact will this have on the environment? Mining millions of tons must have an impact on the area where it is being mined, doesn't it? Yes, it does, but we do everything to lessen our impact on nature. We have a blueprint that spells out what we will do to restore the area after we pull the ore from the ground and follow it to a T. We want to leave the surface as natural as possible. Engineers design and improve the plan, so we have standards that are set and followed. You saw that video of the mine and how it looked very much like the natural surroundings around it, didn't you? Our mining will be done according to rigid federal and state standards set for above ground mining. We want to help cure the earth of this natural disaster, not create a new one. All right, next question, please. I have a question. Yes, what is your question? Thank you, Kat. Can you address the economic impact that this, will, this mining will cause? Absolutely. We are most proud of this plan for this reason. 
Where the mine is located, there are towns a few miles away that will be positively impacted. These towns are some of the hardest hit areas in the U.S. from the economic downturn. While many areas in the U.S. saw a recession, this area has suffered from a depression. Businesses that have served the hardworking families of this basically agricultural area have had to close, and jobs are nearly non-existent. Every facet of their economy is on the brink of failure. This mining operation will bring to them new jobs that will resuscitate the economy. Businesses will be born again, and the folks from this area will have a chance to gain employment. The many equipment operators, truck drivers, laborers, and supervisors alike will bring in paychecks to this town that will stimulate their economy. The fuel that is consumed, the food, the water, the supplies, all of this will be bought from these local communities. Thank you for that question. We have time for one more. This is amazing. The concept sounds great. A natural solution that is good for the environment? You have shown how much Ironman is available and we can see how it is easily accessible. Now we have learned of the plan to mine and how quickly it can be done. What is next? What has government or PP done to acknowledge this and begin the process? You are correct. We have a concept and a well thought out plan. We are producing this series of reports to explain our plan. In our next conference, we will show how ion men can be transported to the sites where it will be ready to load the ships that will broadcast it. It is then that the officials at BP will need to set the funds to complete the study to prove the concept and provide the money to actualize the plan. We ask everyone that has heard this report and the next three to follow to react in a positive way. We ask them to alert the officials, the leaders, those in charge to set this recovery into motion. Hear our plea to investigate. Contact us at info at CaliforniaEarthMinerals.com or call. We are ready to help. Thank you all so much for attending. We will see you soon. This is Cat Brown signing off.